Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about stoichiometry. Basically, the branch of chemistry that deals with quantities of materials consumed and produced in chemical reactions. Some that you might be asked often is the mass of chloride in 25 grams of carbon dichloride difluoride. The steps are always the same, no matter what kind of information you are given. So let's go through them. Step 1. Find the molar mass of the whole thing. CCl2F2. Total mass is 121 grams, and I get this by adding the mass of carbon, 12, plus 2 times chlorine, which is 35, and 2 times fluoride, which is 19. I'm rounding here. Step 2. Divide the given mass by the molar mass. They gave us 25 grams of the whole compound. So the part divided by the whole will give us the moles, an approximation, 0.21 moles. Step 3. Find the ratio of the moles of the whole thing to just the part that they want to find out about, chloride in this case. So, 2 moles of chloride to 1 mole of the whole compound. And step 4. Multiply by grams per mole of chloride. We have 25 grams in the whole thing times one mole of the whole thing divided by the molar mass. We're setting this up to cancel out these units. We continue to multiply by two moles of chloride which relates to one mole of the whole thing. Again we're canceling out units and the last one we're canceling out is moles and we need to know grams. So we put one mole in the denominator as it relates to 35 grams of chloride in the numerator. Multiplying the whole thing across, you'll be left with 14.5 grams of chloride. Basically, we went from grams to moles and back to grams. That's all. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you want any short videos on anything else.